I remember being in my grandma's kitchen, tugging at her apron, asking for just a little taste of whatever she was cooking. Granny, may I lick the spoon? Is the cake done yet? Now it's my kitchen, my children and grandchildren, and even my husband tugging at my apron for just a little taste of whatever I'm cooking. Hello, I'm Coco. Now come on into my kitchen where every batch is made from scratch. Hello, welcome, welcome to Cooking with Coco where every batch is made from scratch. How is everybody doing this evening? I have had another fabulous week and I thank God for all of his blessings. Guys, I have another good one for you tonight. I will be cooking a classic chicken spaghetti with lots of delicious veggies. Remember guys, no color, no flavor. So I'll be adding all kinds of nice colorful vegetables that are going to add a lot of flavor to this chicken spaghetti. I will also show you how to fix a Caesar uh, salad dressing, homemade Caesar salad dressing on top of a romaine lettuce and some sh shredded uh, Parmesan cheese. I will also show you how to fix a puff pastry apple strudel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Delicious, guys. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm going to open up with a word of prayer, and then we'll get started. Dear God, we come this day thanking you for all of your blessings, God. We thank you for bringing us into another Friday, God. We thank you for this cooking opportunity, Lord. Lord, we thank you for our viewers, and we ask you to bless them, God, in a special way. We thank you, Lord, that we're getting ready to prepare the food, and we pray and ask that it be a blessing and a nourishment for our bodies. We ask these things in your darling son, Jesus. Amen. Come on in. Come on in to Cooking with Coco. The first thing we're going to do is show you how to do this delicious apple strudel. Guys, with this, this is what you're going to need for your uh, apple puff pastry apple strudel. First, you're going to need some puff pastry. Okay, and what I've done, i placed just a little flour here so we don't have a sticky um, puff pastry, okay? So we're going to put that on there like that. What you're going to need are two large Granny Smith apples. You can also use um, the golden apples. You can use um, gala apples. You just need a nice crisp apples. I prefer the Granny Smith. You need one lemon juice. You need a fourth a cup of sugar, three tablespoons of brown sugar, and you need one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, okay? So I have my puff pastry here. I'm going to take my rolling pin, and I'm just going to roll this out just a little bit so that I can cut it in a nice little shape. Now, guys, what you need to do, you need to take you two tablespoons of butter, not margarine, but butter. You want to melt that nicely, okay? After you melt your butter, okay, let me get my... So, what are you all cooking tonight? What are you eating? Apple strudels, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. This is a good one, guys, I promise you. You want to try this one, okay? Apples, this is the season for apples. It is now fall. You're going to find all kinds of apples everywhere. Okay, once your butter has melted, then you want to take those delicious Granny Smith apples. Now, once you put your apples in, you want to mix that butter with those apples. And you want to take your sugar. And you also want to take your brown sugar. Okay, mix those nicely. Oh, y'all, if y'all can just smell it, oh my goodness. Then you wanna take your little nutmeg, okay? Don't need but a little. You wanna take also some cinnamon and your lemon juice from the fresh lemons, okay? Oh my. 
So is everybody doing well tonight? What are y'all cooking? Come on, let's talk. Talk to Coco. All right, Cassie is watching. Thank you, dear. How are you? And Angela, oh, Angela, my girl is watching. Angela Harris Champ is watching. Bernice Hill, Valerie Smith, and Carlotta H. Hello, everybody. Y'all, if y'all could smell this. Thanks again, ladies, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Now, what are y'all cooking tonight? Are y'all not eating? What's really going on? Come on now. It's a Friday night. Usually people eat uh, catfish on a Friday. So what are y'all going to do? What are y'all going to eat? We're having an amazing classic spaghetti dish. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're going to have a nice Caesar salad with a homemade Caesar dressing. We are going to have some fresh apple strudels. Y'all better come on and cook with Coco. Yes. Now, my apples are just sauteing over here nicely with this brown sugar. So we have brown sugar, we have butter, we have cinnamon, we have nutmeg, fresh lemon juice. Can you imagine the smell that's going on in Coco's kitchen? Now, we have our puff pastry here. I have, Pastor Agnes, I have um, a little container with an egg in it that I've already beaten. It has a little foil on top of it, not that one. We want to take the puff pastry, guys, and just go down the little seam that's already on the puff pastry, and we want to cut that. Yes, thank you. Thank you. All righty. My apples are doing what they're doing. Look at that. So, okay. Now, we want to take a little egg wash. Oh, yeah. This is going to be delicious. Do you guys like, do you even like apples? A lot of people don't like apples. I absolutely love them. And this is the perfect season for baking with your apples. Okay, we're taking some egg wash and we're just going around the seam of it because this is going to help to adhere, help to seal these delicious apples so that they don't uh, drizzle out, if you will. Okay? So... Look at this, yes. Now, if I can do it, you can do it, okay? If I can do it, you can do it. So we have this kind of turned up pretty, it's a medium high, because we want all of those delicious flavors to just saute really nicely in those apples. Okay, Doris Roy is watching, Lakia H is watching, Diane Gray, Anna Cottrell, and Deborah Her. hello ladies. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. What are you all having for dinner? Are y'all not cooking this evening? Well, we're doing a thing over here. My cousin is here from Illinois. <laughs> see there? <laughs> Michigan. Michigan, see? It's close. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to... um serve them tonight. My uncle and his daughter are here, and uh, we're just going to enjoy one another. Yes, we are. Okay, guys, look. Now, I want you to see the apples. Can, can they see that? Mm -hmm. See how nice that is, that brown sugar and the, and the white sugar and that butter? Now, what you do, guys, you take, I'm just going to show you a few, okay? You take this mixture. And you take about a tablespoon and a half because you don't want to overfill it, okay? Like so. Okay? Then you take that other half that you put the egg wash on. You place it on top of that pastry that you, yes, like so, okay? And then you want to take a fork. And you want to seal all of that goodness in there, okay? Just like so. Like so, okay? That's going to keep all that goodness in. Okay? Have a little... You take your little flour and put it on your spatula, and then you can lift that up like so. You put it on a cookie sheet, 
like that. Okay, I'll do a couple of more. Yeah, and then you're gonna put this in the oven on 375 degrees for about anywhere from 15, 12 to 15 minutes, okay? To egg wash on that side as well. I have had a really, really great week and I am so grateful. God has kept us safe here at the Aikens house and we're just grateful. It's so much going on, guys, and people are getting sick and they're not taking this coronavirus serious. And it's a serious, serious issue problem all of that good stuff okay let's see here diane gray is having fried catfish and fried green tomatoes go ahead then uh unc you know diane right yes i do okay <laughs> um, oh uncle benny is here diane he said you guys are classmates uh Adriette, Adriette Killian is having grilled burgers and Latrice is having Subway. Would well, y'all go ahead then. Enjoy your, your Friday meals. Can't you all do this? Can't you fix this meal too? Can you do these apples? Let me tell you. Now, when I put the apples in this skillet with the brown sugar and butter, this is the time if you wanna put apricots, if you wanna put raisins, if you wanna put nuts, this is the time to do it when it's cooking, okay? You can add whatever you want in your strudel, whatever you want, okay? Then we wanna take that and fold. Do the same thing. Easy breezy, right? Yes, that's right. Easy breezy. <laughs> These are delicious, guys, and I'm gonna show you how to do um, a really easy uh, butter glaze that's made just with powdered sugar. I'm just putting these on. Um, I'm going to go and do this last one, okay? Yeah, Lakia said her parents love the banana pudding. All right, well, you did it, Lakia. So you got Brandon shared, huh? Brandon, you shared? Just enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Well, we, um, we enjoyed ours as well. Uh, I think we still have just a little bit here, do we, uh, Pastor Akins, or did you finish it out? What? The apples, <laughs> the, um, <laughs> you said what, huh? Did you eat in the banana pudding, Mr. Akins? It's gone. Okay, well, he finished it up, guys. He, he finished it up. Okay, look at this. So, now, what you want to do after you secure all of that goodness, you don't want that goodness to come out now. Re remember that, okay? We got it on our cookie sheet. Then you want to, let me dust some of this flour off. You want to take some of this delicious egg wash and just uh, pitter-patter on top, okay? That's going to give it a beautiful glaze when it starts to baking, okay? So my oven is on. It's heated, and I'm going to put this in the oven. My producers are going to tell me when to take them out. This is what they look like thus far. I had some earlier that I've already prepared. I always want to make sure that everybody has enough to eat, okay? So we're going to just move this to the side and get started on our delicious dressing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay? All right, I'm just going to move this to the back. Okay, Venus Boy, and uh, is that Siobhan Brown and Cynthia Lovelace? All right, hello, ladies. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. Uh, Lovelace was one of our winners, and she uh, sent me a message to let me know she received her gift, her prize. So, again, thank you guys for watching Cooking with Coco. I do appreciate it. Okay, we're going to get started with our dressing. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Delicious dressing. Okay. All right. Now, guys, with this dressing, let me tell you. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. First of all, I have 
some delicious Roman lettuce that I've already chopped up really nicely. Okay. So, what you need for this dressing, you need one cup, thank you, you need one cup of real mayonnaise, guys. Listen, do not use Miracle Whip. It, it's not going to do the same thing, okay? And uh, let me tell you, a lot of people, when they fix homemade Caesar dressing, it asks for eggs. But let me tell you something, out of experience, when I have fixed the homemade Caesar dressing, we have gotten sick because, listen, you're cooking with raw eggs, and a lot of the restaurants are cooking with the raw eggs, and so if you're not getting sick, you just, God just taking care of you. I, I don't know. So we're going to omit the real eggs. So what we, what this recipe asks for, um, and Brandon, I think you have that list for me. So we have one cup of real mayonnaise, okay? We have, so one cup of real mayonnaise, you need um, a fourth a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, two tablespoons of water, three garlic cloves mints one tablespoon of anchovy paste. Guys, let me tell you, this anchovy uh, paste is really, really hard to find, but, and you can buy it online. I really got lucky at Walmart. So I did find it, but the recipe just asked for one tablespoon. So one tablespoon of anchovy paste. We're gonna put that in there, okay? With our um, Parmesan cheese, uh, two tablespoons of sugar, Salt and pepper to taste. Okay. And I did ask for, um, okay, dried parsley as well. And I want to say lemon juice too. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put all that goodness in there, okay? And now we want to stir all that up like so. You guys can do this. We have the fresh Roman lettuce. And this, these are the, um, the Roman hearts, uh, really, really hearty, nice leaves, uh, delicious with this dressing. And so we're going to stir this up nicely. Guys, this is absolutely delicious. Like I said in my post earlier today, you don't have to buy those dressings in the store. You can make your own dressings. And then we don't want to forget our garlic. Yes, yes, yes. Come on now, y'all had a coop with cocoa. You can do, oh, it smells so good. So good, yes. And it, it did ask for a couple of tablespoons of water. Okay, so we're gonna, two tablespoons of water. Okay, there we go. And so there, now, we want to stir that goodness up. Woo yes, yes, yes. Who's going to be my taster? Okay. Uh, let's see. Laura Walker is having black and catfish. That sounds divine. Deshaun Tolliver is having air fried wings and smothered potatoes. Go, girl. Yes. You know what? Deshaun, I have an air fryer. Deshannon. Is that Deshannon? Deshannon? Thank you. Thank you. Deshannon. Beautiful name. I have an air fryer and I've never used it. I need to use it. So do you like it? Do you love yours? Carolyn Atkins is having oven roasted chicken, green beans, and apple walnut salad. Go now, yes, that apple walnut salad. Come on now, yes. So this is done. This is finished. Okay, so we're good with our salad. We're good with our dressing. Hold on. Wait a minute, as they say. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let's put some lace in it. <laughs> I'm acting up, y'all. Today is Friday. I'm not serious tonight. Nope. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Having a wonderful time. We're going to get started with this amazing chicken spaghetti. Yes, chicken spaghetti. Delish. Okay. Y'all know what I said about mine electric skillet. 
Absolutely. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. It is a lifesaver. If you all don't have one, you better get one. Now, let me tell you about this. Yes, yes. Okay. With, with our Rotel Chicken Spaghetti Classic. Oh, yes. What you will need. Now, these are options that I'm going to give you. Okay? These are options. Three to four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. You can use a whole rotisserie chicken. In my case, I love the dark meat. So I am using chicken thighs. I have washed them, seasoned them, and just sauteed them in butter, guys. Cut them off that bone, and they're just waiting for me to put all that goodness in here. You're going to need one can of cream of chicken soup, one can of cream of a mushroom soup, one can of Rotel, diced tomatoes, and the chilies. Do not drain the water. Do you drain your water? Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When you're fixing a spaghetti or a pasta, guys, that's one thing that I really, really do not like is to have a dry pasta of any sort. Cream sauces, red sauces. When you have a pasta, you need to have all that creaminess, all that goodness going on. So this night, tonight, I'm going to show you how to, to do that, okay? You need three garlic cloves mints. You need one tablespoon of onion powder. You need a half a stick of butter. One eight ounce brick of Velveeta cheese or cheese of your choice. Salt and pepper to taste. Now, let's get started. Okay, so we want to get started with our butter. Okay, that's one, two, I'm three tablespoons of butter, okay? We're gonna let that melt nicely. Okay, so we got that going. So we're just letting that butter melt nicely. That's everything. Oh, y'all, that dress it smells so good. Okay, now. Let's get her. So our butter is melted here. Now I have already fixed my um, spaghetti pasta. So it's just waiting on me. I have, and remember I said, with no color, no flavor. Flavor, color, listen, vegetables. I am putting bell peppers. I'm putting mushrooms. I got a little celery in here. I got onion. Y'all better come on, listen. This is a delicious, delicious classic spaghetti. We're going to put all this goodness in here. Now listen, y'all, if you don't have color, you ain't got no flavor. Color to me. Don't be afraid to experiment a little bit. Okay? Come on now. Y'all can do it. You can do it. Hope this doesn't chatter when he moves the camera. See this? Listen. Look at all that. Y'all come on. And I'm gonna add all my my onion powder. I'm going to add, and I should have had this already out, guys. I apologize. But it's an easy greasy. It is an easy greasy. Okay. We're going to get our okay. Get our pepper. Yeah, look at that. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I'm looking for my onion. My okay, my pepper powder. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All oh, this saute nicely. Mm hmm. See, it already smells good, guys. Yes. Y'all don't be afraid to add your veggies to your um, spaghetti. This is a good way to introduce the kids to it. Just cook, cook it, cook it, cook it in the dish and then so that they don't see it. And they, they, hey, they'll just eat it. They will eat it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Look at all this. 
And I did those strudels earlier. Uh, Pastor Jacob, you want to show them the strudels, how they look? And guys, whatever you do, if you like this show, please don't forget to uh, like me on, on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. And uh, don't forget about the Cooking with Coco First Edition cookbook. Guys, I'm working on uh, my second cookbook. Um, my husband helped me title the second one. And it's Cooking Keto Coco Style. Yes, so we're working on that. It, uh, hopefully that will be out the first of the year. So, guys, I want you to have each edition. So if you don't have that first edition, please, you can go to my website, www.sandraakins.com and you can get your book right there. And Diane Gray uh, uses her air fryer all the time. I really need to use mine because I do. Um, it was a birthday gift to me and I don't know, Pastor Akins, why haven't we used it? He's not saying much. He doesn't know. <laughs> I'm the cook in the family, so I, I listen. Okay, guys, now, Remember I was telling you about the chicken, okay? It is so important. Season your chicken. I just find that the breast is just really dry, but the, the, the thighs are so tender and juicy, so I seasoned them. Now, I just put all that goodness in this skillet. Y'all better come on and cook with cocoa. Now, so I've added my sautéed, Season to perfection chicken. I've got it all nice and cut up. Woo! Yes. Come on now. Let's cook it with cocoa. Mm-hmm. Now we've got. Mm-hmm. So I have my spaghetti back here. I was looking for my tongs. There you are. Yes. So I have my spaghetti already cooked. Okay, it's nice and tender, it's not, it's not dry either. Okay, once this kind of cooks down just a little bit, we're gonna add the spaghetti to it. Now you can season this how you want to. Uh, if you wanna add extra pepper, if you wanna add extra garlic powder, then you do, this is yours. Again, you know, I always say make it your own. But this is a good one, guys. And it, this goes a long way as well. So now this is my cooked spaghetti. Okay. Just wanna add your spaghetti. And let me tell you, a lot of people, after they saute all of the vegetables and their chicken and all of that goodness, the cheese and all of that, then they bake it. Now, because I have my electric skillet, my cheese is gonna go on and melt the way I want to. And um, so I will not be putting this in the oven. This, this dish also, it's excellent for freezing. You can freeze it. Now I'm gonna put my rotels over. And guys, I'm using my juice as well. Also, we're gonna add our cream of chicken. We're gonna add our cream of mushrooms. Now, some people just use the cream of chicken. My, I love the chicken um, mushroom as well. You can use cream of celery. Whatever you like, make it your own and to your liking and to your, what you like, what your taste buds love, okay? We're mixing all this goodness. Okay, uh, Kimberly Lewis said hello, hey. Sandra Dokes and Charles Booth are watching. Hello, good people. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm making a mess here, but it's all good. We can't let any of that get away. Let me clean this up just a little bit. Okay. So it is sauteing well. I have to get this, guys. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now it is time all of this goodness yes and see this was a uh, i'm not sure what size package that was but it's plenty of spaghetti that's left now if you were going to put this in the oven guys you would put this on 350 you will oil your um casserole dish now i'm looking for my cheese okay 
you would all your uh, casserole dish, and you would put all this goodness in there. Now I have little cubes of Velveeta cheese that I've already cut up nicely, okay? We just wanna put that over in there. And now if you wanna use shredded cheese as well, you can do so. Just, you know, make it your own. Make it your own. And sometimes I will also add some of the shredded cheddar cheese uh, mix on top of my chicken spaghetti. And okay, I'm gonna move this away. Check my, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. And we want to stir this nicely, okay? This is going to start to really get nice and creamy, okay? Yeah, once that cheese starts to melt nicely, it's going to be going and popping. Yes, it is. Yes, see how this is looking? Oh my goodness. Diane Grace said, it looks scrumptious. Thank you, girl. And I'm hoping that it will be. This chicken, guys, listen, I think that it just starts off with this delicious sauteed chicken. You can't put dry chicken, no, no flavor. You're just boiling chicken and it's dry. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna show you now while this is um, sauteing nicely how to fix this delicious glaze, okay? And this is for the uh, strudels. What you need, a couple of tablespoons of powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar. I have some heavy cream in the refrigerator. Will you hand me that, please, sir? Put this lid on so that it will you see, it's in a, it's in a, that's it, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, so we're stirring all this goodness, guys. It is looking divine. Okay. And guys, don't forget, um, you can win a prize with Coco if you do something that she has done on a Sunday dinner or from the show. Those are my copycats. And uh, you can win a prize. Yes. We have a lot of people that are copycatting off of Coco, and I appreciate it. They're sharing it with me. Yes. No, I got to... Clean that up a little bit. I don't, I don't like neat and clean stuff. We just sit that on there, turn it down just a little bit, let that cheese just come together and melt nicely. Now, our powdered sugar, we're gonna use just a little heavy cream. Easy breezy, guys. A tablespoon, I guess, okay? And then you wanna put just a little butter, a little salt butter. And stir that up nicely. Look at that. Yes. Easy breezy little butter glaze, guys. Y'all can do it. This is a good one. It's an easy breezy. Y'all can do it. Come on now. Cook with Coco. We're almost done. We're, we're going to be eating in a minute, guys. So we got this all nice and low. My husband's in the background shaking his hand and moving his feet. And I don't know if he ate today. It's his fault. It, yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. It's his fault if he didn't eat. Because I'm always asking, are you hungry? Do you want me to fix you something? Yeah. He's lost a little weight, believe it or not. Yeah, I don't know how much he's trying to lose. He's trying to get jacked fine. Look at that. woo -wee! I'm with you, brother. <laughs> Is that the Shannon copy uh, your loaded baked potato salad? You did? Did you send it to me? Okay, you have to send it to me so that I know that you did it, girl. How how was it? I know it was an easy breezy. Uh oh, Lakia's in the back saying it was. You saw it, Lakia? 
some of this glaze, guys. Look at here. And I think we're done. What time is it? Can we? Okay, and then you just take some of that drizzle and you just drizzle some of that goodness. Look at that. Y'all better come on and cook with cocoa. Delicious apples, guys. And again, you can add whatever fruit you want. This is delicious with a scoop of ice cream or just eat it just Y'all better come on and cook with Coco. Yes. So guess what? I'm going to plate a little of this goodness up so I can show you guys what's really going on. Okay? Woo! -wee. Yes. Yes. Thank you. This, this cheese is still melting, okay? So we, we, but look, this is what I was telling you. You don't ever want dry any kind of pasta. Make it creamy, make it good, make it juicy. Come on, y'all can do this. We have our delicious vegetables. We have red peppers, yellow peppers. We have celery, we have mushrooms. We got the cream of mushroom soup, the cream of chicken soup. You got your, oh, come on now. Yes, Rotan, yeah, hoo hoo, yes, what are you saying? Chrissy Akins is watching my sister-in-law, and Cynthia Lovelace says she will pick a plate up tomorrow. Come on, girl, you bet. You see how much this, look, it's, it's really a lot, and I didn't use all the spaghetti. Valerie Smith said, looks delicious. Thank you, girl. I appreciate my viewers. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is definitely a passion of mine. I absolutely love cooking. I love sharing. I love doing all the stuff that my grandmother used to do. Didn't she, Unc? Absolutely. She loved serving and cooking for her family and her friends. And I do too. Now look at this. And then you take some of this delicious Roman lettuce, okay? This fresh Homemade. Y'all better come on. Come on and cook with Coco. Get you some of that good old homemade Caesar dressing that's not going to make you sick because we can put the egg in there. <laughs> and then we have our fresh Parmesan cheese slithers. Look at here. Y'all, and then we, of course, have our apple strudels. Ooh, I can't wait to dig into this. Okay, let me get, let me just taste. So y'all really know this is for real, okay? Mm, 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 mm. It ought to be a shame, but it's not. Thank you, Lord, for this food. When I tell you, 
This is the one. Believe me, guys. Thank you so much for joining Cooking with Coco. I love each one of you. Try this one. Add your vegetables. No color, no flavor. I promise you. But you can do it. You can do it. Until next time, thank you guys. Bye-bye.